हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे टॉपिक मंडे मार्केट्स डाउन अगेन ऑल दो इंडियन मार्केट रैलीड ऑन फ्राइडे बाय वन परसेंट द यूएस स्टॉक मार्केट वंस अगेन क्लोज वेरी वीक नेशडेक फेल बाय मोर देन थ्री परसेंट मेनी ग्लोबल मार्केट्स इंक्लूडिंग नेशडेक्स आर एट टू इयर्स लोस Our markets is likely to open around one percent lower tomorrow as per global cues. The following are the four factors which will determine the direction of the markets. Number one, quarterly results of major company. HDFC Bank has weighted up more than eight percent in the Nifty. So when market react to its quarterly results on Monday, Nifty's movements will be impacted. The quarterly results of many other Nifty companies are also coming up this week. Which will determine the overall market direction. Some of the companies which will be releasing their quarterly results this week are ACC, HDFC Asset Management Company, Indusind Bank, Nestle India, Altra Tech Cement, Asian Paint, Axis Bank, Bajaj Finance, ITC, Tata Consumer Products, Bajaj Financial Service, Hindustan Unilever, JSW Steel, Reliance Industries. SBI Life Insurance Company, ICICI Bank, and Kutak Mahindra Bank. Second factor that determines the market this week is FII's investment flow. FII sells shares in emerging markets such as India whenever the Federal Reserve hikes interest rates or is planning to hike interest rates. Already they have sold rupees ten thousand crore worth of shares in October so far, but DIIs have bought shares. For 8,000 crores in the same period to cushion the fall. If FII sell further, it could negatively impact our markets. Number three, U.S.-China economic data. The U.S. will announce its September production and manufacturing data on 18th October. It will show how U.S. economy is performing. This will impact the Federal Reserve's decision on interest rates. China will also be releasing its economic data this week. In the April-June quarter, Chinese GDP had fallen by 2.6 percent. Number four, Nifty support at around 16,900. Nifty seems to have some support at around 16,850, 16,900 level. If it falls below that for some reason, there is chance of further weakness. Similarly. It seems to have some resistance at around seventeen thousand three hundred. If it can be crossed, then there is a chance of further uptrend. And here is the picture of Nifty graph of the last twelve months and the support at sixteen thousand nine hundred. Finally, at the end of the video, here is a question: Nifty has not crossed its all-time high of eighteen thousand six hundred since October two thousand twenty-one. Do you think it will cross before the end of 2022? Yes or no? You may type in the chat box. If you are not the member of Stock Market Academy channel, this is the time to subscribe. Press the bell icon. Send this video to all your friends. And finally, video is good. Press the like button. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. All the best.